I've kind of been around art in some form, even if it's slight, all my life. My dad, as long as I can remember, had some type of space where he could create. He had some type of extra bedroom in our home, some type of studio, always. There was always, you know, even if it was, you know, paints, papers, drawings, a room where he, you know, a drafting table, whatever it was. And my, my mother, uh, she studied ceramics, and uh, she went through a period where she did a lot of ceramic work. So it's always kind of been there. I think the influence has always been there. But it wasn't until much later in adulthood that um, that it kind of crystallized, so to speak. I was in college, and I was studying education, middle school education. I was in my, I guess, third year, late third year or fourth year, starting to get out of classroom stuff and get into field work, student teaching, practicums, stuff like that. Uh, and I stumbled onto a Netflix movie called Basquiat. Uh, I think it was made by Julian Schnabel. Chronicling Jean-Michel Basquiat's life. And I fell in love with it immediately. It was like this moment where all of a sudden I was like, wait a second, you mean I can do whatever I want? You know, it, that's when I started to realize, wait a second, I do have things that I could create or things that are in my mind that, you know, just because I can't realistically paint a bowl of fruit doesn't mean I can't be an artist. I work with children, elementary school, kindergarten through fifth grade, and well, more specifically third through fifth is the group that I work with. And their absolute lack of self-criticism or anything in, in their art and in the way that they write and the ideas and the things that they come up with has always been very inspirational to me and continues to be. The, the other thing about kids' art and kids' ideas and stuff that they do, the way they write and stuff they write, is it cannot be recreated. It just cannot be done. The innocence that's in some of the things that I've collected made by children cannot be recreated by an adult. The one thing that has stuck with me that I, that I kind of picked up from and love about Basquiat was the layering. The constant, like the, the constant editing or revising, however you want, you know, whatever you want to call it, until sometimes I'll just keep going and every time that I add or do something, I will not cover up what my favorite parts are. So there might be, even if it's just like where a, a, a red splashed across the blue and it's just this one little spot that's just so cool, but everything else around it happens to be, you know, not really doing it for me. So I might end up just, you know, putting a coat of something and, and then there's just save that. Or literally pick a color and paint the whole canvas that color and then start added, adding and covering and doing whatever until I just, tell things start to surface but I'm also always like I'm also always working in, in, in like several different directions at the same time originally I went through a period where I was painting on just on bed sheets loose bed sheets and I, I didn't really know what I was gonna do I went through a period of trying to stretch them learn very quickly that doesn't work they're too they're too thin they you know they give with time and uh, you know they they it doesn't work. So then I went through, okay, well maybe I could grommet them and just display them that way. But my perfectionist just wouldn't let me do that. I didn't like how there was ripples in it, if it was hanging on the wall. It just didn't work. What I like about them is that they're so versatile. I mean, you can ball them up, you can soak something up with them, you can I mean, you can cut them. There's just so much you know, and then some of the stock patterns and stuff that you find. Even when I moved to canvas, I still just kept using uh, fabric in different ways. Definitely a, a lot of found objects. I mean, sometimes you just, you just find something, you're just like that. I, I can't leave that there in the alley. I have, to, I don't know what or when or how, but I just know that, that I'll use it somehow. I can't, I can't not. I don't know. I can't, I can't stop. The draw is, 
inexplicable. I said like I don't discount any idea I get. Sometimes I don't even know if it's, I don't care if it's a good idea. I make it just so I can get it out of my head. You know, and, and set it free. If, if something takes me a week to make, so be it. You know, like, that just happens to be what's, what's required. I mean, this one painting that I have called Nepotism sat out here for five weeks. And every time I came out here to look at it, I hated it. And then one day, I, I put the final stage on it, the blue. That it was like this blue outline. Like I, I, I wrote nepotism on it, but I used the blue. The, I used the blue like, I did the background instead of actually doing the letter. I did just the background in blue, and it just kind of ended up this messy like, perfection. And I, and I, I, I stopped, and I was just like, just like that. Like, I hated it for five weeks, and then I did this one last step, and I was just. Just don't touch it. It's perfect, and, I, and and it's just it was this breakthrough painting for me. It's it's one of my favorites because it was this moment that comes along every now and then with something that you make. Do not go to art school. Knowing what I know and what I've gone through so far, I would not go to art school. I can't. I cannot advise anyone to go or not to go to art school but honestly looking back I wouldn't go to college I would I would say don't go to college don't go to college don't go to art school don't go into debt for an art education it really comes down to how badly how bad do you want it I mean I've gotten to the point where it's it's an obsession if you're aspiring to be an artist and you think okay I'll give it five years or ten years or fifteen years whatever before I would give up and you want to have a degree or a different career path to fall back on, then yeah, of course, college is great to have. I refuse to give up. So I don't anticipate ever needing my degree because there's, there's no way that I'm going to let that happen. There's, there's, it's just not an option. Bottom line, don't give up and don't let anything come between you and making work and getting work out there.